welcome back to my channel so nice to see you again especially you bbg girls Today I wanted to continue with my BBG series and share my tips and tricks for how I did BBG 1 and BBG 2 at home, how I got all of the equipment together, set up the workouts at home so that I didn't have to step foot in a gym. If you don't want to go to the gym to do the workouts, then I hope this video is helpful for you to show you how you can do them at home, exactly what equipment you need, exactly how much it will cost you, where to get it, how to do it all and also how to make really helpful substitutions for equipment if you don't have the space for it or you can't access it. If you haven't already made the decision about whether or not you should buy the app or the PDF, make sure you go back and you watch my video, the honest review of the BBG program, the app versus the PDF. It doesn't matter whether or not you have the app or the PDF for this video to be relevant to you. The equipment's exactly the same in the BBG1 and BBG2 program, regardless of whether or not you're accessing that program via the app or via the PDF. So let's just say for argument's sake you've made the decision. The next dilemma you'll have is how you can get set up to actually do the program, especially if you'd rather do it at home as opposed to going to the gym. The reasons for doing so may be that you don't want to have the added cost of a gym membership. It is a bit of a chunk of money to get set up by buying that PDF or if you're going to go with the app, you've got the ongoing cost. So I can totally understand that you don't want to also increase those costs with a gym membership or maybe you're like me and you would just rather do the workouts in your own home, kind of get familiar with how to do the workouts and feel more confident in the exercises. Doesn't matter, no judgment zone. If you wanna do the workouts at home, this is the video for you. Full disclaimer, this video isn't going to be relevant if you're considering the BBG Stronger program. BBG Stronger is only accessible via the Sweat app. There is no PDF for it and you can't do it at home. It's got to be done in a gym because it actually uses like proper gym equipment. That is unless, of course, you have your own full pimped out at home gym, Khloe Kardashian style, which is hashtag goals for me personally because I would love my own at home gym but it's highly unlikely that you do, I'm sure. You've gotta be super wealthy to be able to set yourself up with all of the equipment that Kayla uses for the BBG Stronger app, so program. So if you are doing that one, I'm sorry guys, you'll have to skip this. This is only for BBG One and BBG Two. Enough of that, let's get on to the good stuff, exactly what equipment that you will need. So for the essentials, you're going to need to have a yoga mat, some free weights, a drink bottle, good music, I love my wireless headphones from Kmart, Bajane, and a sweat towel, cause girl, you're gonna get your sweat on. Okay, so that's the basics of the equipment. Those are the very, very, very essential things that you need. I'm now going to go into the more comprehensive list of what you need for BBG1 and BBG2. There is a bit of crossover. There is some equipment that's unique to each program. If you don't have everything on the list, don't freak out yet because after I've listed everything, I'm going to talk about substitutions. So hold on before you freak out, okay? So, for the more complicated or comprehensive pieces of equipment that you'll need for BBG, you will need flat benches, plural, an aerobic step, a kettlebell, a medicine ball, a skipping rope, a bossu ball. Just a note, it's only in BBG 1 that you need the bossu ball. A barbell, only in BBG 2, do you need to use this and a foam roller for recovery so you may have seen from that little equipment roundup that already you see some modifications that I've made to the equipment required and there's good reason for that I'm going to explain why first up let's talk about my benches at first in BBG 1 a bench is introduced and then later 
she introduces a second bench. So not only do you need to have one suitable bench, you need to now have two. And I looked everywhere, I couldn't find anything that was affordable and suitable for the program within my price point, basically. So I had my dad make me these two benches. He used old wood that he had so it didn't cost me anything to have them made and what I love about them is that you can push them together and it makes the surface area that fits my whole upper body so I can use it to lie down on and it fits all of me. You can find the detailed dimensions of the boxes on my website ginrosewater.com just search on their BBG at home workout and the information will pop up. If you are looking for a suitable bench here are some ideas of things you can use. Any flat, stable surface such as a chair, a ledge, a park bench, or even the stairs in your own home when you're doing the weighted step up exercises, for example. Another substitute I made was using an aerobic step to begin with as I gained endurance rather than using a bench because it's you know that much higher off the ground whereas an aerobic step less so. My dad also customized the aerobic step for me and he made it slightly higher because as it came it was just a little bit too low but that might be a perfect for where you're starting out from so definitely try it before you make any changes. Next up is the kettlebell. Mine is a sad little kettlebell but it only cost me ten dollars. I bought it second hand off of Trade Me which is the same as like eBay or Gumtree if you're in Australia I think. It's just like an online auction site where people sell secondhand goods. What I do love about the kettlebell is that I can add weights to it. It's very easy to so it's not just set as one weight. But it isn't super comfortable to hold and I don't 100% trust it so I am a little bit careful when I use it. They are really affordable to buy from the likes of Kmart or the warehouse. I'm sure they're really cheap at Walmart if you're from America as well. So make sure you do a little bit of research and look into those. You will need something. If you can't find a kettlebell, it's not the end of the world. You could substitute it for a larger dumbbell. You'd want to look for something between 8 to 15 kg and just use the one dumbbell. But these are the medicine balls available at Kmart in New Zealand. And again, they're really affordable but... Hashtag Povo student life, which was my reality last year. I couldn't afford to get this on top of everything else. So I substituted a medicine ball for a dumbbell and just held um, at one in the recommended weight. One in each hand, sorry, to make up the recommended weight for that medicine ball. Now the skipping rope, there's no proper substitution for this. Skipping ropes are actually the cheapest piece of equipment that you could buy. It's like $5. You could probably get it even cheaper secondhand online. So I highly recommend getting one and actually skipping is super hard. Like your heart rate gets up, you get sweaty. It's a really good workout. I highly recommend getting one. If you can't get a skipping rope because of the space you're in and it won't hold you're just not able to skip then you could just do air skips that's what Kayla calls them which is just like mimicking the skipping motion in one spot on the ground let's talk bossu ball the bossu ball was my nemesis I wanted a bossu ball so bad if you're not familiar with what a bossu ball is it basically looks like it's a swiss ball that's been chopped in half and it's like glued to the ground these feature in BBG 1 only, not BBG 2, but I couldn't find a Bossu ball for sale for less than like 200 bucks and I wasn't about to pay 200 bucks for a Bossu ball. So instead I went to Kmart, I looked around, I was trying to find something that I could use as a substitution and I found a $10 wobble board. So one of the exercises in which the Bossu ball is used is doing a burpee with it. So what's great about doing the burpee with the wobble board is that it does challenge your stability a little bit but you don't have the added weight because the bossu ball is quite heavy. So you've got a couple of options. You could either do the same thing as me and get a the wobble board like I've done or you could just do a burpee with duck. That is something that you can do that's a recommended substitution by Kayla as well totally up to you if you don't have access to a boss of all though don't stress it does not change the, the progress that you'll make with bbg 
Okay, so dumbbells. Dumbbells are a very crucial piece of equipment for this program. You legit really need them. If you don't have money and you can only buy like one piece of equipment, I'd say dumbbells. Genuinely do it. If you if you can't afford them, try being a little bit creative and seeing if any of your friends have dumbbells lying around somewhere that you could borrow and use for the program. Look online and try to find secondhand ones. They're not that expensive and they're really crucial because you'll use the dumbbells as a substitution for the kettlebell, for the bossu ball, for the medicine ball. So it's really important that you have them. When I started, I only had dumbbells in like 3 kg, I think, and like 1.5 kg. And then as I started to increase in my strength and endurance, they weren't challenging anymore. So before I went out and I purchased dumbbells, I got a little bit creative, and you could be creative if you needed to be in order to try to challenge yourself with heavier weights. You could um, use cans, you could use bags filled with things in each hand to try to like you know see how your strength is building be creative if you can't get a dumbbell but i really do recommend that piece of equipment it's pretty crucial now for babes who are doing bbg2 at home you'll see the introduction of a barbell it's pretty exciting uh, also a little bit intimidating now, when I started BBG2, I realized that there was kind of no way around the barbell. I mean, there is. You could just use two dumbbells, but I wanted the barbell to, in to increase the amount of weights that I was using. So what I did was I went back onto Trade Me, which was so good to me, and someone was selling their barbell set for $70. It still had the price tag on it, which was like $149. So I got it for such a good price. It was still in the box. It was like hardly used. It was amazing. I do really recommend that you that you get uh, a set of barbell set because it does allow you to work on your deadlifts, work on your weighted squats and everything. But if you can't get one, then substitute that with dumbbells as well. And that, guys, is the definitive list of all the equipment you will need to be able to do BBG at home. Let's just do one final rundown of what you need for BBG1. That is, you're going to need a bossu ball, a medicine ball, a skipping rope, and two flat benches, as well as some dumbbells. For BBG2, you'll need a barbell, dumbbells, flat bench, two of those, a kettlebell, a medicine ball, and a skipping rope. For anyone looking to do BBG at home, I hope that information was helpful to show you that the equipment doesn't need to be super expensive. There are loads and loads and loads of modifications and substitutions that you can make, and you don't have to have access to a gym in order to be able to do the BBG program. If you're new here, please hit subscribe. I'm Melissa Jane from Gin and Rosewater. My channel is all about sharing tips and tricks on how to achieve your workouts, eat healthy, and do so while struggling a busy life. If that sounds a bit like you, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you check back because I upload videos every new videos every single week is what I was trying to say and I'm going to be continuing with this BBG series because I'm restarting BBG one program in January so make sure you check back soon if you like this video and it was helpful please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions any comments or suggestions on things that you did in modifying please share them below because there might be people who are looking for those tips and that could be super super helpful to them and if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Just leave them below and I will respond back to you ASAP. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.